What's going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be going over some of the new iOS 14 beta 4 changes for both the iPhone SE 2 and the iPhone 11. So before we get into this, I want to let everyone know we still have that free iPhone sweepstakes going on with you sweeps. It's just a quick email submit, but we've partnered with these guys for the last two or three years and they do give out free iPhones as well as free gift cards. So I'll have a link in both the description and comments for that. So iOS 14 beta 4 has a few new changes in it, but nothing really major, kind of like with the last update. The first thing, however, is you're going to have a new option in your settings, which is called exposure. So this basically has to do with, you know, COVID and picking up traces of it if you're nearby people who have it so this is something they were working on for a while but you know they finally released it and it's pretty cool um and it's gonna automatically be in your settings now you know when you go in there uh the next thing we have a new widget which is going to be the apple tv widget which is cool so i imagine as we go on with ios 14 and as it comes full circle you know we're gonna have more widgets updated more often but the other thing too is they have more widgets laid out for you kind of like as um top widgets before you even scroll down so we're starting to see some more of those come in too kind of like the top ones but apple tv you know you've got three different sizes for it you got the jumbo slice size you got the small size and then the medium size um you know uh probably a couple of my favorite widgets right now are definitely like the clock widget i like the apple music the uh, battery um and then another thing that i've noticed with the widgets is that you know there was a tweak on this and i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about in just a second here but let me add the clock widget so you can kind of see this but when you go to edit a widget I've noticed that the background is starting to change color. So it's like matching up better with just how it looks. Let me explain because it's easier just to see it. But the clock widget, for example, when I go to edit it, you can see the background color changes to black. Now this happens with a lot of the widgets on here. And it's something that I did notice. It kind of just looks a lot better, I guess. Uh, just the colors when you're going to edit the widgets and um, yeah, but to be honest with you guys, that's really going to be it. Not a whole lot of changes here. And like I said, we're starting to come full circle on iOS 14. So I imagine they're going to actually release it pretty soon. And, uh, you know, having used it, it's really going to be hard for me to ever even want to go back to iOS 13. I, I think it's awesome. Now, I wanted to wrap things up here with a little Street Fighter gameplay on the iPhone SE 2. So I'm going to get into a match here. You got to get some gameplay in. You guys could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more iPhone content. And let's get into this gameplay Street Fighter 4 
Mission complete. You 